brash, silvery gibbon teen, Eco is becoming more of a handful. Eco's causing a few issues and uh, riling up his little sister and his family a little bit. He's sort of just pushing the boundary, seeing what he can get away with. This morning, Eco's reckless play has an aggressive edge to it. Kiko is taking aim at his baby sister. You know, he's biting at her a little bit and pulling at her. And I definitely don't think he realises that he's much stronger than she is. Mum Tilu is quick to respond. When she sees Eko being a bit too rough, she's more than happy to step in and discipline him and take Ray away from him. With Rhea back under the protection of mum and dad, it looks like Eco has been put on the naughty step. Eco had a bit of a time out. He's sat now by himself, probably pondering what he's done wrong. He's old enough now to know better, <laughs> so uh, he definitely does need to learn his boundaries and his own strength. But Eco doesn't want to be grounded. And it seems baby Rhea would like to join her rebellious big brother. Although she's small, Rhea is very brave, which I think maybe rubs off a little bit from Eco's behaviour, because he's fearless as well. She just really looks up to her older brother and likes to copy his behaviour. If Eco is climbing high up in the enclosure, then it is, it's just natural for Rhea to sort of follow her big brother. I think when we see them up like this, you look at them and think they still look quite small and quite delicate, and obviously it's a long way to fall if she falls from there. With Eco climbing higher, Rhea follows, but she's not as strong as her brother. When you see Eco encouraging Rhea to go higher and higher, he's obviously not really realising the dangers for her. If there happens to be like a little slip or anything, there's a chance that she could fall. Luckily, Tilu, her speed matches Eco's, and she comes to the rescue. With Rhea safe in Mum's arms, <coughs> Dad Alvin appears to scold his reckless son. They will discourage that behaviour by ignoring him. He's got to take a bit more responsibility, have to be a little bit more grown up with Rhea. It's lunchtime at the Silvery Gibbon habitat. Impulsive adolescent Eco is eating alone after biting Rhea and leading her astray. It's quite sad to see when he obviously has got himself in trouble of being pushed aside and put in the naughty corner. The Eco has still got a lot of learning to do and the only way he gets the opportunity to learn is usually sometimes just by getting things wrong. But it appears being strict on Eco has paid off for Mum and Dad. Tulu and Alvin are sort of helping Eco to learn how he should behave. Over time, he'll be a little bit more gentle with Raya. Eco has got an important role to play in Raya growing up. You know, she's going to learn a lot from him play, behaviour, all that sort of thing, it's all vitally important, you know, in a given growing up. And Eco will reap the benefits of having Rhea around. Having a younger sibling is an advantage. It's that interaction that really shapes them for the future. If Eco goes on to have youngsters himself, at least he's been in a group where he's seen babies and he knows how to be around them.